Salut. Pause. Go 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 go. Wait. Oh. Come on. Do the wrench slam. <laughs> Whoa. Suck as a big puddle. <laughs> I can see why they couldn't use those water graphics, but seriously. Looks nice. So, what about you? What's that thing? I am interested. Greetings, this is Oliver Wade, the animation director at Insomniac Games, doing an atrocious British accent. <laughs> this is the original Gadgetron vendor from Ratchet & Clank 1. The official reason it was cut had something to do with saving memory. The real reason has a lot to do with squirrels, hexas, and our lawyers. I can say no more, because I am no longer able to do this accent. <laughs> These guys are funny. So you're supposed to be the thing I thought, hello, I'm going to purchase item from you. Which item would you want? Do you want this item? No? How about this item? This is a special item. Do you want this item? Oh, wait. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can get this just right. Hello, good sir. I would like to purchase some product. Can you give me some product? I want product. You know, give me product. Perish. I successful. So, uh, what about the squirrels with hacksaws sauce bit? Because, I mean, uh, I mean, I know those are dangerous. Does that explain the squirrel enemies? Whoa. I want to know what that is. Hi there. My name's Tim Trespass. I'm a gameplay programmer here at Insomniac Games. I'm a Leo from Washington, D.C. I like anime and shiny objects. Huh? This monstrosity was intended to be a boss battle fought on the jet ski gadget. Seeing as the jet ski never made it in the Ratchet and Clank, however, neither did this boss. May he rest in pieces. So you were supposed to have a jet ski boss? Sheesh. I wonder how this would have been implemented. I'm guessing that's a mini boss? Hi, my name is Sean Whistler, and I'm a tester here at Insomniac Games. This guy was originally intended to be an enemy in the ill-fated jet ski level that never made it into Ratchet and Clank 1. A moment of silence, please, for this gentle giant, torn down in his prime. So you're the mini-boss, and that's the mega-boss? I guess they never really got to turn it into different things. What's that thing? Sean here. Don't worry, Ratchet. You wouldn't have had to fight this monster even if he did make it into the game. Oh. This giant bug ship was intended to act as scenery only, flying from place to place to ensure high detail on buildings while leaving the play area open. Wow. I wonder why this was cut out. Probably too much detail. Oh, hey, there's that ship. Sweet. So what's, uh, this way? Did I miss anything? There's block man getting shot. There's a giant drill? My name's Corey Stockton, and I'm a designer here at Insomniac Games. You may recognize this drill from Ratchet & Clank 1. It was held by a large construction worker who gives you a lump of raritanium. Oh, that this is guy! This originally a weapon called the Revolverator. Ratchet would strike enemies with it and then spin them over his head. Why did why wasn't it able to make in the game? I wasn't able to read the rest of it. Oh well. Giant drill. We can't pierce the heavens with this one, but at least it's still here in our memories. Let's see. Plant. Hmm? That's new. What's that? Hello. This is Pedro Hastinas. I am a gameplay programmer at Insomniac Games. This dummy was created to test the new reaction system which we added to Ratchet & Clank 2. With this system, enemies would always be sure to react appropriately to being damaged without a ton of hassle. Go ahead and hit him. He won't mind. So, you're allied with the other evil blockmen. What about this thing? I can drive this too? 
Wow, uh, something's wrong with this car. Turning isn't that good. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What, what am I looking at? This was created to test screen buffer Whoa! Effects. Screen buffer effects are used to create things like distortion bubbles and heat hazing. This, however, ends up looking like a hall of mirrors. Can you guess why? Uh... Uh... What happens if I shoot a visibomb at it? Dear God. Infinite Ratchet! I don't know why, though. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Stop following me. Secretly stalking me. Okay, so I need to find a way to get over there. Uh... There's a, there's a platform underneath you. Yeah, there's that thing. I don't know how to get there yet, though. Uh, let's see, uh... Yeah, no ma- wait. Planet Dantopia! I thought this was Planet Burbank! Let's see, what's over here? What's that? I must figure it out. Hello, lady. Whoa, this looks fancy. Hi, I'm Leslie Matheson. I'm a designer here at Insomniac Games. This gravity tower was created to test the Magna Boots in Ratchet and Clank 1. However, with the new gravity boots that Ratchet gets in Ratchet and Clank 2, this tower is much more fun. Can you imagine scaling this tower while walking at half of Ratchet's speed? Yeah, we thought so. Yikes. That'd be slow and boring, but, uh, let's test it out. Whoa, this is a big tower. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow this way. Woohoo, exploration! I'll follow the left side. Everybody's in handsome. Oh, I'm on a sphere. Oh, uh, okay. Where's the sphere lead me? Am I on the top of the world, or no? This isn't right. There's that big pink thing. Still don't know how to get there. Oh. Okay. Wow. This is so strange. Imagine if they implemented this in the actual game. Well, if I'm going in a big circle... I don't mean like the kind of circle I'm normally going through, I mean like an even bigger circle. See, because now I'm over... So wait, I go that way and... Then that way leads me to... Wow. I don't think anyone would have noticed this if they couldn't run on the... Uh, on the edges. So, what's over this way? Hello? Why isn't it speaking? So weird. Speak to me, person! I demand answers! So, whoa, 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 what? Hey, that's not what I wanted to do. I have an idea. Maybe if I'm careful enough. I can figure out a way to get to that platform. This is the get back home button, right? Yeah. This isn't right. Ow. So maybe I can find a way to get back home or into that big tower thing. It oh god. There I am. If I believe, is there any way to 
How, what are you? Hmm? Oh, I did not see that. Oh. Whoa. Reminds me of Rayman Arena a bit in that one level with the lasers. What Hello, is this? My name is Brian Allgaier, the design director at Insomniac Games. These escalating rows of blocks were used when we were in the early stages of creating Ratchet and Clank 1. They were used to test Ratchet's jump heights and jump distances to see which would be the most fun. Okay, and what about you? Brian Allgaier here. These ramps get steeper and steeper as you go on. They were used to test how Ratchet's feet respond to different floor angles. It also helped establish that a 45 degree angle was the sharpest that Ratchet should be able to walk up. Alright. Thirty-five. Hey, I want to go up. Yeah, that's right, you make me go up. Hmm. How do I get to top of tower? Of course! Oh, no. No, I want the bunny hop. Why, why won't you let me? Now I want to know what that is. Brian Allgaier here. These walls, which range from narrow to wide, were used to test wall kick distances for the original Ratchet and Clank. You mean this? Oh, huh. interesting. It's down there. We need to find a way to get up there. Uh, let's see. I wonder why that's a bridge. There's something underneath here. Nope. So is this what a game basically looks like before you render everything as a bunch of cubes? Cause let me tell you, I've seen a couple of get finished products games where I think it was purposely cubes. Don't know why though. Time to scale this tower. The Insomniac Tower. find a way. be a way to get up there. What if I find a way to glitch through the glitch through the glitch? If I need to glitch, 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 how do I glitch a glitch? Hmm. I have an idea. What if... Darn it. Okay, that doesn't work. Come on, I, I, I want to go up. I want to go up there. I want to get to the top. Wait, maybe I can explore with the... the, 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 the you! I'm a genius. Oh, well. Crap. Fall. 
darn it. He died nobly. Hmm. Wait a second. Much better. Let's see what's up here. So that looks like a thing. Let's go up. Where does this thing lead? Where's the museum at? Because I mean, I'm here. And I remember seeing the museum somewhere. Insomniac? Hello? Oh, there you are. I could have sworn I saw something glowing up here. Well, hey! Darn it. Well, that seems to be everything. I don't think there's anything else I can explore. Oh god! Sometimes when you shoot a visibomb at it. I guess the top of the buildings here are also magnetic or something. Well, that's the Insomniac Museum, everyone. I didn't even try to find that, and I am so glad I did. I just need another 400,000 volts or something. Let's see... Eh, I might as well just do uh, some of the Thug Rendezvous levels just one more time. Get that, get that last section of bolts up. Sure, let's do this. Oh my god, they're all dead. That was very quick. No wait, mines. Start off with mines. Alright, my plan is in motion. Whoa! Come on, bros. Come at me. I have an idea.
them. Where's the rest of them? Oh, there you are. Nuke at the ready. Ha! One more of these for good measure. Oh, uh, never mind. I didn't crash, I just left through hyperspace. Whatever, that should be enough bolts anyway. Alright, let's get the last upgrades. The Mega Mine Launcher? Fast Lock Missile Launcher. And maybe now I can change my colors now since, you know, it's all done. Mm. I like Space Storm, Dark Nebula, and Drex Black Heart. Uh, Dark Nebula. And do I want to change the nose, the wing? Heavy Ordnance Wings. Yeah. Skill point! Haha! <laughs> New ship! So... Hmm. Time to go to Joba! Let's see... I know the tank bot glove won't be really good enough, arena fight, because then that requires I don't get injured at all. So I guess I should go the main pathway for now, just so I can upgrade the thing. That seems like a smart idea. all the bolts. I demand all the money. Nothing else? Commit suicide. Come on, bros. No scope for the win. Oh, he's still alive. Uh...
Nope, I'm not here. However, you might be interested in my friend. Nice job standing still, everyone. You guys are all really good at that. Now, let's see how this will work. He doesn't know I'm here. Perfect. You shall suffer! This is just sadly simple. Come on, get out of there. 